But here's the caveat to that. On October 20th of this year, the FTC is going to come hammering down on creators that are selling or pushing their products and gaming the system doing it. And LinkedIn is right at the very top of this. Social media companies won't just say LinkedIn. Social media companies, at the end of the day, they're at the top. They're the ones yep. that need to police their platforms. Not Dan Hall down here. They're responsible. So if the FTC comes knocking and they're going after creators, who do you think the creators are going to blame for not enforcing their terms of service? What you have to gain by enforcing your rules as opposed to what you have to get, lose by not enforcing them. And I guess we'll find out sooner than later on that. But it's all about the money. It's all about the the money. And the numbers. And the like, numbers. The vanity translates to cash. I mean, I've been in contact with Forbes. I've been in contact with a lot of big media companies. And they just don't want to touch the story. Because they're well, in bed with, with these social media platforms. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but that's all I can come up with. <laughs> But, you know, I have another thing. This is my take on the FTC that sort of bums me out. Because the FTC generally does this, but you need enough. They're very numbers driven too. So mm -hmm. you need to be making 10, 20, 30 million. I'm making up numbers, but having seen people called out, if you're making 100,000 or less than a million, they and most of these influencers aren't making that much. I mean, comparatively speaking. At least speaking, they... they they might be talking about making that much, but if they're actually not making that much, then kudos to them if that's what they want 